Hello, this is a video about making a waterfall chart. And this is just an overview video. Subsequent videos will demonstrate exactly how to uh, do everything. And it's really, I hope you th see how, how easy it is. Whoops. I'm gonna, uh, going to just get the file first. So step number one and whenever you do this you simply have to open a uh, file right now that I have called um, waterfall final you'll have to set up the data in a little bit but once you do this you can press shift control V and you press you look at kind of what things you do let's delete the earlier graphs let's leave it in euro uh, let's not do any of this stuff and you just press the button and then it tells you kind of the progress and there you have the chart and if you let's let's say you wanted to make another chart this one okay shift control v this time maybe we don't want to delete the earlier graphs and let's make it a percentage let's show the values on the x-axis and make the graph. Now the key thing about this that really was a pain, obviously, obviously you know that if you try to do this yourself, coloring these, you know, uncoloring these, putting the the horrible things on the bottom instead of the top, putting these connector lines in, making it different when it's negative than positive. These are incredibly painful things to do, and if you do this manually, it's it's a it's a pain, you know that. And the so the other th the final thing you know really to mention is we make multiple graphs. Oops, this is the data graph here. Let's say you put a little uh, spinner box here. I'm gonna make sure we're. Uh, we're, we're on automatic okay and then you can just change the the uh, data in in the graph so in the next videos I'm going to show you how to set up the data we'll show you how to make sure these spaces aren't co uh, aren't uh, incorrect and uh, I'm sure some other stuff I can't remember what now and that's the end of the uh, overview video.